Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 29th of July 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to fully embrace your gifts and talents, step out that spiritual closet, raise your consciousness and become the person you are meant to be in this lifetime. Now this week we're going to be using the Sacred Spirit reading cards by Anna Stark and this was a little deck that I picked up whilst I was in Canada. But as always before we get into this week's reading I would like to say thank you so so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you for those that have shown an interest in my Soul Path Discovery Programme. Um, it's something that's been a long while coming um, and I'm really looking forward to getting it out into the, into the world. You know, a six week program that really will help you um, take big steps on your spiritual path um, to help your intuition, raise your consciousness, to find out who you truly are meant to be and the gifts and talents that you've got to bring to this world. Um, and of course, I am running Angelic Reiki uh, training starting in September, so do check that out. Anyway, as always, I give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. And they're a dinky little set which I can actually carry about um, with me, which is really good. So, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their eyes? Good. The week commenced on the 29th of, all, the 29th of July 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their eyes? Good. The week commenced on the 29th of July 2024. Because we're not in July yet. And we're not in August yet. I've no idea why I keep thinking uh, we're in August already. Who knows? Okay. So the cards that we had come out are... Right, I'm going to put my glasses on for these because they've got small print. So we have Guardian. Guard your energy. That's that beautiful card there. We have... Mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. And we have energy signature, the past is in the present. So we have that card as well. Okay, so what the cards are saying to me this week, um, I do apologise if you can hear a soaring in the background, but someone's obviously doing some DIY on a Sunday, but of course. Okay, so what the cards are saying to me is that this week you really need to be looking after your energy. Um, you really need to keep an eye on what energy you're putting out there, what energy you're allowing into your life, what energy are you allowing other people to take from you. Um, this is a week to actually be aware of, of your energy. Now, obviously, your energy, your source, is how you show up in the world. It's how you live, you breathe, um, how, how you function in life. And every single person has their own individual energy. And sometimes we can overuse this energy, which is where we start feeling depleted and icky and lost. And it's like, oh, my God, I've used up so much. I've used up so much energy, but I haven't done anything physical but I feel really drained. And that's when you're giving out your energy um, a bit too freely and others are going, oh, there's some energy there, let me take that. Um, you know, yes, there are some people out there who deliberately take energy, but there are a lot of people out there who don't realise they're taking other people's energy because we sometimes let our energy be a li little bit too free. So it's flowing and people go, oh, there's energy coming, I'm going to, I'm going to take that. So this week, be mindful of your energy, you know, guard your energy, be aware of what energy you're putting um, uh, out in, into, the, into the world this week. And one of the ways of doing this is to be mindful, to actually be aware. What is it you're feeling this week? What is it um, you want to achieve this week? Be mindful of those things, how, you know, be mindful of how you're portraying yourself this week. That will have a lot to do with your energy as well. So, you know, if you get the chance, do go within. Okay, what do I need to know? 
where am I going? What am I giving out that I shouldn't be giving out? What am I not giving out that I should be giving out? Because sometimes we don't give out the right energy to people, which means the opportunities um, don't show up for us. So again, you know, yes, you're guarding your energy, but you also need to be aware of your energy, uh, you know, and don't, um, don't suppress energy that needs to flow and connect with other people. So this week is like a balancing act. It's kind of like, yes, I'm guarding my energy so that the, so I'm not being depleted of energy, but there's energy that I need to send out to align me um, to my highest good and to bring those synchronicities in. And that's where the mindfulness will come in when you actually go within. Take a breath. Okay, where is my energy going today? Where is it flowing? Where do I want it to flow to? You're in control, so be mindful of that this week with your energy. And if things from the past are coming up into the present, then now is the time to deal with it. You know, that energy from the past, whether it's in this lifetime, you're aware of it or previous lifetimes, if that's coming up this week, it is something you need to be mindful of. You need to see where that energy has come from. What was the energy around that situation, if you know what it was? How can you look back? How could you have changed that energy? What could you have thought differently? What could you have done differently? How would the energy have changed? And bring the energy back into the present to heal that past, whatever it may be. And if you're not sure what it, the past was, or if it's a past life and you don't have time to see some of the past life regression or do a guided meditation online for past life, then just sit, breathe. Heal your mind. What do I need to learn and heal from the past? What energetic signature is coming in? And just allow the answers to come to you in whichever form they do, whether that's thoughts, words, sounds, feelings, someone suddenly yelling something, um, the radio, suddenly you switch on the radio and they're the answer to it, you open a book and the right words on the page. The answers will come to you. You just have to be ready to ask and listen to them. So this week really is about um, energy work and your energy itself. So the cards again are guardian, guard your energy. Be mindful of the energy you're putting out. What, do, what energy do you want people to see? What energy do you not want people to see? What energy are you giving too freely that's leaving you feeling um, depleted? And just guard it. Manifest mindful wisdom. And I can't remember the cards of that. Create in harmony. So take the time to sit in peace, in quiet, in nature. Get that inner peace. Bring your, calm your energy down so it radiates at the right frequency that will bring you joy, harmony, bliss and synchronicities. And energy signature, the past is in the present. What is coming up from the past that needs to be healed or cleared this week? You've got the opportunity to do it, whether through someone like myself, whether through online guided meditations or whether through your inner workings. What is from the past is in the present that's um, stopping your energy flowing more freely. And that's really all the cards are saying to me this week. Um, I hope they made sense for you. Please do let me know um, in the comments whether they resonated, whether you got your own interpretation. I always reply to everyone who either comments or messages me privately about the cards as I'm always fascinated to hear what your impression um, is of, of the cards. And of course, um, don't forget to check out all the workshops I'm offering. Um, you know, I've got Angelic Crakey coming up. That's all four workshops are going to be uh, done this year. Well, definitely three of them. Um, Future Life Progression Practitioners Training. I'm doing that in October. That's online, so you can be anywhere in the world for that. And that is an absolutely amazing training where you'll be able to take people into the past, into the future future lifetimes, higher self, there's so much you can do with future life progression and the, uh, um, and the business side of it. Um, and Shersh, you know, absolutely amazing businesswoman, 
is spot on. Um, and of course, obviously, my Soul Path uh, Discovery program, which I'm really excited, which I'm really excited about um, to uh, to get going. And of course, don't forget to check out my show Angels and Destiny, um, where my guest is the beautiful Laurie K. Coleman. Um, so if you're watching on Sunday, it's taking place tomorrow, Monday the 29th at 8 p.m. UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, watch the replay. And of course, don't forget, um, you've still got time, if you haven't done it yet, um, uh, to vote for me for the Alchemistic um, Awards. I've been nominated in two categories, um, Category 2, Spiritual Teacher, and Category 6, um, Podcast Show, um, and obviously my show, Angels and Destiny. So if you love that, you love what I do, then please do vote. You've got until Wednesday the 31st, and your votes would really mean an awful lot to me um, for that. So have a wonderful week. Take care and I'll speak to you next week. Bye.